on my bike, I've got uh, an Indian motorcycle. I always wanted an Indian motorcycle. I'm just nervous. I'm not going to be able to say the name Indian motorcycle for a while. Like, they're changing names, you know? And, and I wouldn't want to insult anybody or offend anybody. But I also don't want to be riding like an indigenous people's motorcycle either, if I'm honest. Pearl Building Company motorcycle. Yeah. Like an ear of corn on the tank or something. I got to be careful though when I'm talking about it. Because you can be misunderstood. Like, people don't know I'm talking about a motorcycle. They'll be like, what are you riding? Like, I ride an Indian. I got a black Indian. I ride the shit out of that Indian. You should come over. I got it locked in the garage. I just put a coat of hot wax on it. You're like, you're a monster. I got a motorcycle as well. No. Uh, <laughs> anybody, anybody have a birthday this year? Round of applause. <laughs> yeah, everybody else, November, December. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. My big birthday uh, was last year. I turned 50. Yeah, exactly. Uh, fuck. Death is close. <laughs> I was bummed out about it. You know, somebody said that, like, oh, Dan, you're only as old as you feel. I'm like, well, I think I might have died last year. <laughs> Things are breaking down. And, like, I went to blow out the candles on that 50th birthday cake and, like, simultaneously throw out my back and shit my pants. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. I, uh, Anybody got an anvil or a wet wipe? Like, pick the wrong week to switch the kale smoothies, that's for God's name. Sure. <laughs> Found it, I could get into the senior center up there in Rochester. That's depressing. <laughs> Holy shit. Depressing until I went there and realized I'm smoking hot in that place. <laughs> I'm there every week now, strutting around like Ryan Gosling. Hello, ladies. Blanche, Doris, how you doing? I don't want to get you ladies too hot, but I can drive at night. Take you to late night bingo. Six to eight. Shoveling on. <laughs> exactly, late night. It's close to when I go to bed now. It's horrible. I, uh, yeah. What's with these old guys? I've been staying old people for a while since I'm in the club. What's these old guys having babies? You know, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino. Guys, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should, alright? And ladies, you gotta be choosy when you're getting ingredients to make a human being. You know? That's old DNA. If you were making a cake, <laughs> you opened the fridge and the only milk you had was from 1940. <laughs> You're going to want to run to Kroger, get some milk, and bang somebody else for God's sakes. He's not going to know. <laughs> What's an 81 year old Al Pacino sperm cell look like? <laughs> Fallopian tube like the Crypt Keeper? <laughs> Who's the guy you had to know to get an egg up in this bitch? <laughs> hoo -ah, hoo -ah. I was at a, a funeral not too long ago. They had the uh, open coffin. I don't like the open coffin. It creeps me out. Open bar? Good. Open coffin. Bad. <laughs> don't do this natural. You know, you always have that amp. Like, oh, doesn't Grandpa look natural? Like, you think that looks natural? Give me your car keys. It's like a deflated drag queen. Like a serial killer put lipstick on. Man's a hero of the war on drugs. It's, my wife said, 
Some people need to see that. They need to see that, you know, for closure to move on. Like, I understand that. So this is what I want in my funeral. I want a closed coffin, but I want a sign next to it. If you need closure, pop open the lid, take a quick peek. <laughs> Fun though, if when they did that, they had me in there, and I'm just like, <laughs> scare the shit out of people. I'm not a dick. They find too many, and they nail my hand to the lid, so I kind of pop up like. It. <laughs> you want to be remembered? You have a funeral like that, you'll be remembered. Do you remember Dan? Were you at his funeral? Was I at his funeral? I'm in therapy because of that miserable. 